Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. In this video, I'd like to compare AMD's R7 370 with NVIDIA's GTX 750 Ti graphics card. Both GPUs come in at a very attractive price point. So in terms of pricing, the R7 370 does cost a bit more than the GTX 750 Ti. But it doesn't always translate to the offered performance, doesn't it? Let's find out. As you saw yourself, we get a bit mixed results here, basically not very clear ones. In many games the R7 370 definitely beats Nvidia 750 Ti, but there are games out there that show completely different results, where the R7 370 pretty much is on par with the 750 Ti. But I'm suspecting the lack of driver and game optimizations here, that could soon change in the future. The temperatures, as we saw in the charts, are a bit higher on the 370, but not by much and there's no need to worry. As always with AMD's 300 series GPUs, we have to expect a higher power consumption compared to NVIDIA solutions. In this case, the GTX 750 Ti consumes 21% less power than the R7 370. Yes, the 370 has its right to consume a bit more, since it's also offering more performance on average, but still, the power draw is higher. However, in this low wattage range, I wouldn't call that problematic at all. Most 750Ti's are equipped with 2GB of VRAM too, so both GPUs offer 2GB, no difference there. But what about the price performance ratio? Which of these cards should you buy when just wanting the best for your money? Well, I'd say go for the R7 370 then, as it offers noticeably more frame rates in games and still doesn't cost that much more, but in the end, it's basically a thing of preference. Which one would you go for? Let me know. And yeah, this pretty much wraps this video up, I guess. I hope you now happen to know a bit more about the differences of these two graphics cards. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.